from May to September for five months, uh, I'm going to have an exhibit uh, seven to nine sculptures uh, in the main lobby of the Oral Keefe Museum. And uh, it's going to revisit some of the emotion and things that were uh, not discussed a lot at the very beginning of, of Hurricane Katrina. So it's going to be a little bit different than, uh, you know, uh, my typical work. And uh, but. Uh, Hopefully it will move people. Yeah, the large horses that I've made, the horse heads, the half horses jumping through the wall, and even like the large horses uh, probably seen at the Gulfport International Airport, uh, have really gotten a lot of attention. They're a little more complicated to make. They're all drawn to scale. We scale out their, uh, their bone lengths uh, and fabricate it with metal, uh, basically a, a metal skeleton. Then we skin the skeleton with uh, thin cypress slices uh, with wire and then finally uh, put the final skin of driftwood on it and uh, with all this driftwood being driftwood that was recovered after Hurricane Katrina. Yeah, so we're going to spend about a week and uh, the sculptures here in Biloxi, we're going to fresh grind them and then the uh, city boom truck's going to follow us with the varnishes and spray and uh, just give them a little bit of uh, uh, new sealant. And there'll also be a volunteer crew that are going to help out uh, cleaning some of the soil and dirt and things away from the bases of the trees. And I think we'll show that up with either metal or masonry and uh, get a, a termite guy to treat the ground a little bit by him uh, just to keep them uh, lasting as long as we can. Some of the trees were in poor repair when I carved them, so I think Mother Nature will reclaim you know, some of the sculptures. But there are, are sculptures out there with five, seven foot diameter bases, solid oak, that I'm sure are going to be around for a long, long time.